here in Cage Cove. It's the uh, 11 mile loop. And uh, they have a lot of different uh, structures and cabins and barns, different things down through here. And this is like a one way uh, loop around. It's very scenic and um, so they got a lot of fields and you see animals out there. Uh, they also have horses here you can ride. And they have pull-offs you can use, you know, if you want to get out and walk. Um, a lot of times, you know, people get out and take uh, photographs of animals. And There's a lot of history of this place here. Um, I can't remember how many people lived here at one time, but a, I want to say several hundred people lived here in the cove. I can't remember exactly how many, but uh, it was a thriving community at one time. So y'all, y'all just sit back with us and uh, enjoy some of this loop here. We won't show you the whole loop, but we're gonna show you some of, like say, the cabins and historic structures along the way. All right, y'all, we're finna go up here and see the John Oliver cabin. Showing the trail length is uh, three tenths of a mile by the paved path. That's what we're gonna be walking on today. Or two tenths by the dirt path. So, we normally go up through the uh, dirt path. But today, we're gonna be walking up this uh, pathway right here. I think it's the first time we've ever walked through here, right, Tosh? I think this is new. Yeah, this. This is something new they put down because they had so many different uh, visitors come through here at one time. And um, plus the parking is kind of limited. So we're going to we'll park way down here. And I'll show you here. We've got some parking right up here. But y'all see how pretty it is out here. See top of the mountain right there. And like I say, the Smoky Mountains is not going to be like really tall mountains. You got different elevations depending where you're at. So we're here in this cove, so we're in the like in the base here. So these mountains may not look that tall. Let me show you back over here behind me. Y'all look at that, how pretty that is across yonder. So it's real pretty up down up here and I guess up here and down here. You down here and it's yeah, we got some deer running out here in the field. And here's a little small one right here eating. So the wildlife here, they come out here early in the morning, like I do, you know, they're in their natural habitat, you know, so they feed early. That's it, I'm gonna stop here so we can focus in. This is a GoPro, it's not gonna zoom real good, so. We're just going to just take a look at that deer right there. I think Summer got a better camera back here. She might be taking some pictures and stuff. We'll put some closer pictures and stuff of it. So if you have a kids you bring the stroller out you know you got a nice path on this particular cabin this is going to be your first cabin you'll come to also so uh, 
I just want to bring y'all along here, show you this, and uh, when we get to the cabin here, I'll cut it back on, and I'll show y'all what it looks like there. Closer to the cabin now. We got a couple of turkeys out here. I just want to show y'all here feeding. Just give you an idea of kind of stuff you'll see when you come out here. I'll try here's a John Oliver cabin. We're gonna step in here real quick and take a look at it here. It's one of my favorite cabins right here. I always love coming here. Just a real small little cabin. This particular one has some uh, upstairs right here. I'll bring you up here. I don't know if you can see. It's going to be dark in here. You probably can't see, but it's got upstairs. <laughs> got a little back porch here. Show you the outside this chimney right here. <clears throat> Nice big chimney right there. And come back here behind it. They have a little. Y'all, I don't know if they refer to these little streams or creeks. Um, I kind of refer to them little streams coming out of mountain here and sometimes they're dry and sometimes they got water running them but uh let's see if we got any water run been really dry this year so not sure if i have any water in it but we'll walk back here real quick and see now so this particular one is dried up but a lot of times you'll have water flowing through here but anyway y'all it's real pretty back in here that's just right behind this cabin here. Just want to give y'all a look. There's Tasha and Summer, and here's Austin here. They've been tagging along with me, as they do always. <laughs> one the right arm, one the left arm, and the other is the caboose. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll be back in a little bit. We're going to walk them back to the car, and we'll show y'all their next stop here. Y'all come along with us and y'all keep up with us because uh, I don't want to have to come looking for y'all if y'all get lost. All right, we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Do you remember what I did last time I came through here? I was recording y'all making a oh, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just right. did I just did it again. <laughs> this same place last time we came out I made a little recording and uh, I made a funny face. So I just thought I'd do it again. Alright y'all we're coming up on uh, the Methodist church here. I'll show y'all. We're not gonna stop there, but uh just gonna give you a little view of it right here. Out the window's got a cemetery behind it. Show them some of these fields here. Back of this way here. So all throughout this cove, you know, you're gonna have uh, a lot of fields and stuff that, that's why the animals, you see a lot of your animals and stuff out in the fields. They have 
have some turnoffs too. You know, if you don't want to complete the whole 11 mile loop, you got a couple turnoffs that you can actually, and we're coming up on one right now, that you can actually uh, go down to, um, you know, cut it, cut it in, I'll say half, a little less than half probably. We call it bypass lane right here. You're five miles. If you go this way, you're five miles to the exit. Then if you keep going, you're gonna be seven miles to your exit. But um, I would strongly encourage you to do the whole loop because it's very nice. And right now we're coming up on another uh, church here. And let me see, I'll show my, my window here. And also you have right here to the right, Rich Mountain Road. You can go down there, that's a real nice drive. It's uh, real narrow, but it's nice. And here you have the Missionary Baptist Church. So you got a cemetery in behind it. And I'll show you all that right there. That's another old church here in the cove. And th there, there was another one there. Um, there was another one there that we didn't go down. I, I, do you remember what name of that one was? I don't remember. But uh, we're like looking at the cabins and stuff. We done been in all these, you know, different ones uh, multiple, multiple times. But um, we'll go ahead and show you uh, the next stop. The next one's gonna be a cabin. We'll do a little walk through. And everything so we'll be back in a little while we got some turkey down there y'all y'all see that pretty view out there all right y'all we're going to elijah oliver place it's gonna be a half mile walk up through here Watch y'all see deer. Y'all are sitting way out here in that field. There's a whole group of deer down there. See how pretty it is back across there. This is one of my favorite places too, coming back here, uh, because you, a lot of walking through the woods and uh, it's real scenic through here. So let me show you from this, you see all the cars. Now it's not many cars, a lot of times it'd be backed up a long way, shot, but see when you have deer and stuff out here, they. Uh, they get all backed up stopping and looking so you gotta be prepared to uh, you know the whole loop sometimes i think it's like a two two and a half hour time to go through this loop uh, when it gets busy so. See y'all back here. Keep an eye on y'all. all let's say rock back through here you know, got a little stream right here you got a crossover it's got a little water running in it
I'll show y'all just a little bit more and I'll cut the camera off and I'll cut it back on again. Show you a little bit of that trail when we get more into the woods. And then when we get to the cabin, we'll show you that. But right here, we have a um, barn that they built. I don't know how old this is. If this was built for the park, you know, uh, to use. Just I know a lot of times store lumber stuff in here. Y'all were going through the middle of the, I was about halfway through the trail here now. So I'm going to show you what it looks like through here. You see a lot of trees and stuff has, you know, died and fell down over the years. Over here to my left here. If you want a nice walk through the Cade's Cove off the beaten path right there, get off, let's say, how your vehicle stretch your legs out. This is probably one of the best uh, trails to get on to uh, not just only half a mile. Let's say and you got a couple structures at the end to look at. So it's a real nice walk. Always real cool. It don't matter if it's summertime. It's still going to be cooler right in here, all this shade and stuff. We've never seen any bear uh, on when we was walking through here. One time, when we first got married, we seen there's a couple. Well, it's over yonder. Y'all remember I told you about that road that splits off where you can kind of cut your uh, loop in two, kind of, you know, don't have to go quite as far. It was over in there, and there's a bear, two cubs and a mother bear up in a tree. Me and Tasha, we've probably been married maybe a year or two. And we wasn't too close, but somebody got, well, there's up in the tree. Somebody got too close to trees, but I had two, three people around the base of the tree there, y'all. Well, that mama bear got tired of it, and boy, she came down. And when she came down, you think a pack of uh, wild dogs got after everybody. Everybody just took off running, including me and Tasha. And uh, I got the video <laughs> at home. You could hear me. The camera goes flying down. You can't see nothing but me running in the ground. You can't see nothing. And I say, what did I tell you, Tasha? You told me, get across that fence. I said, hurry up, Tasha, move. I said, get across the fence. You're going to get bit or something like that. But I guess that's as close as the camera we had it with a bear. We had we've seen some, you no know, since the end. You know, probably I don't know 50, 60 yards. But you definitely don't want to get too close to these animals, and that's especially your bear. The bear is one you really got to worry about, especially if they got their cubs, you know, with them. But y'all, yeah, let me just turn you around here. how nice it is up through here and there's so many different trails y'all can walk down waterfalls y'all can walk to and visit it's just tons of them up here but I'll go ahead and cut it off and when I get up here we'll show this cabin here all right y'all here's this cabin right here you know, let me turn you around here. There's a little outbuilding right there. And one right up on that side. And here's a dog trot style cabin. Dog trot style cabin. And then you see around the end here, they built on. It's like for addition, like a bedroom or something like that. So you'll see that, you know, a lot of your cabins, a lot of, say, they might have built that first, then they might have built this, and then add on to it. So, so. 
walk you on in here. Got a fireplace right in here. Think I'm at this uh, little short door here. And here's in between the two cabins here. You see old. They probably hung a bucket or something right here. It's a really steep steps. Go up there, Austin. Let's just see if you can make them up. All right. Now dark in here, y'all. Let's see. Yeah, they can get some light up there. Then we have a fireplace right here. I don't know if y'all can see this so dark in here. Show you outside this window here. Then right here they added on. Here's the porch right here. Then they add like a probably in like a little bedroom right here. It could have been for a traveler, somebody coming through to uh, spend a night a lot of times, you know people traveling through they would have somewhere for them to stay that's that stranger and walk back here on the back side i'll show you all this chimney right here how big it is nice really nice chimney right there then you have this little structure here i'm not sure what that'd been for and some of these structures y'all might not have been here originally they moved them here they might come up from other you know farms and stuff and they just kind of saved them and put them where they needed to but then back here we walk back here this little stream coming out of the hills here and that's going to be your uh, spring house back here y'all this has been where they've stored their you know, milk, eggs, different things they want to, uh, cheese, different things they want to keep cool or whatever. You see, you see right here they just funnel the water out of the mountain right there. Comes off in this trough, they would say put their stuff in there and you know, the water runs out and runs them down the stream there so anyway y'all that's this like i say it's one of my favorite places but well, i guess all of them i like i like them all but just want to show y'all this nice little walk up through here and if y'all enjoying this video give me a thumbs up and i appreciate it leave me a comment down below like reading all the comments We're going to walk on that back down here to the vehicle. Actually, we'll probably walk around and check some of these other structures out and stuff. And I like to stand up here just a little bit there. Because this, this is really nice up here. So, bring y'all around there so y'all can see all that up in there. Got y'all on the camera, y'all. Like Them up in the real close, I'm getting video. Y'all, I don't know if y'all can see up in there. Some a mother and two cubs up in the top of the tree. We just left Elijah Oliver cabin and uh, 
you know, while well, God say, we never sent a bear through here. Well, just go show you. You never know. First time for everything. Mama bear two cubs up in that tree. And that was a nice sight to see there. But uh, anyway, y'all be careful when you see cubs and mama bear. The visitor center case code. I got a little cabinet right there. Going gift shop, all kind of stuff. Real good little place going there. Find out information. And uh, all kind of little books and keychains, everything. I like going in there, looking around. Yeah, right down here. We're gonna go down here. They got a little blacksmith shop. Look like they got a some coal burning this morning. We're gonna see what they're making in there. This should be really interesting. We've got several people down there. Maybe we can get a view of it. I think um, but no it's like it wasn't even an obligation or anything like that I just was curious and wanted to learn um, this is like I said I'm a ranger here so it's a program I can give and do demonstrations it uh, I'm happy to do stuff like this because learning with my hands and my senses it's just so much more meaningful to me yeah it's too wide What do y'all do with the nails after you make them? Um, if they're good enough, uh, watch or reuse them for the cabins. Yeah. Um, we have a historic preservation team, which is actually mostly volunteers. We're walking around here, and you see right there, they, y'all, a certain time of year, they do just like they're doing the blacksmithing. A certain time of year, they'll be doing the you know, sagra making right here. And here's y'all, this uh, mill right here, they still grinding corn and stuff here. This gentleman right here in his overalls, I believe he's one running today. That's always real interesting to see. They just control the water flow right there. To control the speed of the uh, mill inside. We'll go inside and take a look at it. House right here. This is more modern style with uh, sawmill lumber. I want to say, let's see, I want to say it was the Becky Cable. Walk in here and see. I'm going to tell you around. Aunt Becky, they called her. Baker Cable. Um, she was uh, she allowed you know a lot of people came here and boarded. She boarded a lot of people, didn't she? When they came through here and stuff like that. I'm not. I, I don't think her house is a, actually here though. I think you know they just put it you know reassembled it here and everything. But. Uh, In here in this section, a little wood stove in here, nice fireplace. So, a lot of this is like near wood, they you know, like they redone it and stuff. She said she owns 600 acres, she owns 600 acres in the cove, in the cove. Okay, yeah, 600 acres she owned here in Cates Cove, so she's a big landowner here. But this was been a nice, very nice home back then, where a lot of people might have had, you know, log cabins. She had this uh, nice home here. 
So I just want to show y'all that. That's pretty interesting. Walk back out here. The, the house right here. Let me show you. Be right there. Just come on back here. We got two outbuildings here, barns. If y'all look at this, this is a special made um, barn design right here. You see like, you know, in Appalachian, got that beam runs all across. It supports the roof and they can park their wagons up under it and just kind of supports it uh, itself there. It's pretty neat. I'm sure they got a name for it, but I'm not sure what it's called. Then back behind here, y'all see the water. And they got it roped off because this is the first time we've ever seen that showing venomous snakes. So um, apparently they've had some problems with some snakes back in here. It could be this time of year possibly, but uh, that's the first time I've ever seen that. But there's a water, a little creek running in behind the barn here. Hey y'all, if y'all look right down through there, that's, that's where the water is being channeled in. And we're just gonna walk right, going to that uh, mill. So we're just gonna walk back down through here just a little bit here. So what they do is they take the water coming from the creek over here and they build a off channel. And I'm not really sure what they call this, but it's just got wood uh, built up and uh let me show you how you kind of see right there what i'm talking about they just build a wall and uh, channel that water down through there and that controls the flow uh, to the mill and the gentleman inside he said you know right you know they just turn it real slow because the water level is slow you know hadn't had as much rain this year and I'll just show you right down here real quick where they how they do that right here and the water's running through here and they just got this board right here that they can adjust and like I say it's, it's so low and this is old here they would have a handle right here they would lift this wood up right here up and down to allow the flow of the water to come through a lot quicker but uh, you see right here where they built this dam right across here to kind of you know push this water build it up to push it back over this direction and uh, so just real simple uh, means of doing this and it worked for them back then to get their corn milled and their wheat and uh, just real interesting you know so if y'all come to Cave's Cove y'all make sure y'all come and visit right here at the um, cave is it called the Cave's Cove what's it called visitor center, visitor center. Y'all, y'all know I can't remember this stuff, but <laughs> but this is a really fun place to stop, and uh, like I say, y'all really enjoy yourself. And if you come to the Smoky Mountains, y'all, y'all, y'all got to come to Cades, Cades Cove, C A D E S Cove, Cades Cove, because that's uh, our favorite place to come whenever we come to the mountains here, and uh, just. Um, just real beautiful out here in the mountains and I always like to see but uh, we'll, when we get on the loop here in a little while we'll show you some more cabins there
All right, y'all, we're coming up on the Hyatt Lane. This is on the other side where you can cross over. Remember I showed you earlier? This is where it comes out right here. And it knocked a couple miles off of your uh, roundabout there loop. And we have uh, right up here the Dan Lawson uh, cabin. Go ahead and show them out there, window there, Tosh. So I can get a look here. Not sure if we're going to be stopping at this one. Might just kind of drive by it there. They're going to have a barn on behind it there, y'all see also. Show them back in there. Better picture there of the cabin there. Now, child, here's this cabin here. Looks like they put a new roof on it. Some uh, shingles there, wooden shingles. And, uh, I tell you what, I can't remember the name of this cabin. I want to say is the Carter Shields. Not sure, y'all. But anyway, this is along the loop here, and they got a upstairs up in here and fireplace right there. It's pretty big little cabin. Y'all, most of these cabins are gonna look <laughs> very similar. Um, you can probably tell the difference from the outside here. Got a little back porch right here on the back side. Of it, real nice. I think this, this had a big chimney. Let me see here. This is outside of here. Yeah, this is one. Got a really nice chimney here. Y'all, I'm gonna show y'all this. Look how nice that chimney back up here. Really nice. This is a real nice cabin here. And you can see it's it's kinda it's kinda like a hybrid type cabin. It's gonna have your boards, sawmill boards on it from the side here. And if you say look on the front. But on the inside, y'all notice it had logs. So I can't remember the, the story behind this. If if it was initially just the you no know, the log cabin and they came back and added the boards to the outside. But there is a story behind it, I just can't remember it. But that's this that's that's the only one here that I know that you know it's that way. So we'll come back in here, I'll show you. And they, this is pretty neat. It's got two holes here. I, I'm not sure what this was for. If y'all know what that's for, let me know there since in that wall there, I don't know. But you'll see inside here, it was like, you know, this was the original, you know, cabin that had, you know, it was built with logs and I don't know if they built on to it and they just like the way, you know, the boards look and they just put them across the logs there. But anyway, y'all, let me show you Crossroad. They're doing some work across here too. They show you some barns and stuff over here on this other side of there. Y'all can kind of see that. I just want to show y'all this little place here and really, really nice, y'all. All right, y'all. I told you to think a Carter Shields cabin. This is called the Tipton Place. 
and uh, I just want to correct myself on that because I couldn't remember what it was the cabin we just came out of it's called the Tipton place I'm going to show you this little cabin here real quick. This is the uh, actual the Carter Shields cabin here. And uh, it's just a real small little cabin. Looks like the door might be shut in it. Okay, it's opened up here. Anyway, y'all. We'll just show you a picture of it here, a little video of it here. I won't go in, several people in there, but this is a, always a pretty little place. Y'all see how pretty it is back in here. Show you a side view of it. Real pretty. Y'all look, the leaves are falling. It's fall here in the Smoky Mountains. y'all get back in the car i want to say this is the last one on this uh, loop here so i hope y'all enjoy the video and uh i hope that nobody didn't get lost along the way and if you did just let me know and uh, i'll try to find you there appreciate y'all coming along and as always friends from my family to yours y'all have a blessed day and we'll see you later god bless Bye-bye.